Okay, we're getting ready to experiment with the lazy package manager and see what we get by default. So in my screen, you can see that the current NeoVim configuration is base NeoVim itself, no plugins loaded at all. We're gonna to switch to folk by typing in switch NeoVim folk. This is gonna cause the packages and to get bootstrapped and all the plugins to get loaded. So the lazy plugins manager, package manager is operating in the background. We're seeing information come in right now. Notice on the upper right hand corner of the screen, information is coming in. That's coming in from, from uh, Noise, which is that experimental plugin I did, I did a video on. It's really nice feedback that you're getting. So if we get out of NeoVim, if we get out of the um, installation, the lazy startup page, we go back and we see that we have which key loaded. I'm going to get out of NeoVim. And I want to come right back in for this first first try. And all I want to do at this point is I want to see where are we from a package management standpoint, from a load standpoint, startup time. So what I go, what I notice is that there's 50 plugins load installed, 15 are currently loaded, which is pretty cool. I'm seeing that there's a new uh, version of 1.120 is available. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade it, and we're getting that done, and. Everything's updated, so we'll do the same thing. We will get out of NeoVim all the way, and we will go right back into NeoVim, and we'll go right back and check our startup time again. And we're at that 14.41 milliseconds. This is blazingly, blazingly fast. So it's amazing what a starter kit's doing. It's, it doesn't have a, all the plugins that you might want to use loaded, but you're starting at a very, very solid starting point with a very snappy response time. So one of the things I like to do is I like to see what plugins are loaded right away. So I notice that which key is loaded. I could go down this whole list and I could figure out when some of these plugins that are not loaded, what keystroke or what command is going to cause them to get loaded. So as I start to do activities, which I'm getting ready to do, we're gonna notice in the upper right hand corner of the screen again, we should start to see information coming from noise about what's happening with the system. So the first thing we'll do is we'll use the find command and telescope is now loaded. If we get out of this window and go back to lazy, uh, lazy, now we have 24 plugins loaded. That's to be expected, okay? That's because there was an event that occurred that caused more plugins to get loaded. So this is again showing the power of lazy and the way you can do your own lazy loadings to customize your startup time to get it as tight as you, as you can possibly want to get it. So one of the things we want to take a quick look at back on the find file side is we want to look at, at a couple files. We're going to start with the lazy file. And what we're going to notice is we see noise doing some stuff. It's loading things. It's installing LSPs, et cetera, et cetera, which is kind of cool. Um, and that's very specific to the Lua programming language. So that, that was kind of, kind of nice that that happened for us automatically. So we notice in the first part of the system, Sorry about that. We notice in these first couple of lines that we're actually doing the bootstrap. No surprise there. In the lazy setup in the specification section, notice that it's pulling in on line 12. It's pulling in the base lazy configuration and then it imports your customization. So if you're not sure where that customization is, one of the things that we can do here is we can type in alpha and it takes us back to the menu and I can type the find file again. And there is in this directory, Lua plugins. So it's sourcing this plugin and the way Lazy works is it sources all files in this directory. Notice in the lower right hand corner that we're getting fidget information as the workspace is being diagnosed. That's really cool. That's already built into this, this starter kit, which is really nice. So if I wanna look at some of these other plugins and decide if I wanna use them, I know I can go in and delete this line right here and restart it and all these plugins will start to come in. Some of them are going to be loaded on startup. Some of them are going to be loaded on demand based on an event or a keystroke or something like that. But this gives you a really cool way to experiment with things. There's also notes in here to show you how to disable and how to, uh, how to disable a plugin versus using the plugin. So there's a lot of really cool information that I've learned a lot from just studying this one file. Um, the other things that's uh, worth looking at back at the main menu, you might be wondering, 
why I'm typing the main menu going back to the starting point is that's got that fine file and I don't remember all the keystrokes and so I know I can do a fine file from this menu. I also know I can do telescope find file s. I know I can do that as well but I just it's just a practice that I'm going through myself is I'm not trying to be as fast as possible right now. I'm trying to go back to a starting point so I can navigate from that starting point to learn more about this environment instead of just immediately going in and learning and trying to learn and memorize the key bindings. So one of the thing, the other file that we want to look at or directory we want to look at real quick is if we notice in this configuration Lazy will look for these files right here. So if you have an option, if you have options you want to set, put them in this file. If you've got extra key maps you want to put, put them in this file. If you want to put auto commands, put them in there. So okay, this last experiment that we're going to do with the Lazy Vim Starter Kit is we're going to add a key binding. We're going to show you. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. So if you recall, I was doing the telescope commands, find file, and I was using the P in the end to navigate up and down, which is normal, you expect that. So you also notice when I was in a file, so we'll go take a look at the style little file, I was typing alpha to get back to the main menu. Well, once I know that that tool's there and I don't find an alpha key binding, I like to go back to the alpha menu to remind myself as this kind of like thinking that as starting at the top of the tree and navigating down. So it's just a way for me to create a mental map of where I, where I want to start. So if I go in and I do the five file again, um, and I'm going to look at the key bindings, and we're going to go into the key maps. And in here I've added two key maps that don't conflict with anything. One is called Leader AA and the other one is called Leader FF. So from this location, if I do Leader FF, up comes my telescope, which is what I expected. And if I get out of the telescope prompt and I just do Leader AA, I'm right back to the alpha screen. So I'm hoping what I've done here shows you a little bit of what you can do with the Lazy Starter Kit. It's really pretty cool. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Remember, this is a seven part video series where I'm covering different NeoVim installations. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I've got a new microphone, so I'd like to get feedback on whether the audio quality is improving. Thanks again for watching. This is Trap. I'm out. May God bless you.